Good day, YouTube. Welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today we have the Molson M glass out. We'll be drinking Stonehammer Premium Pilsner. Stonehammer Premium Pilsner is a 5% alcohol pilsner brewed by the F&M Brewery in Guelph, Ontario, Canada. No bottle cap if you collect them. Whew, that's a lot of smoke. A lot of smoke. So, as you can see, it's about a finger of head. Uh, it's fading rather quickly. I expected it to stick around with, with a craft beer, but it's going to be gone in a few seconds. Lots of carbonation in there. Very pale. It actually looks quite right for the, for the genre. Now see, I've been really impressed with F&M's other beers, so I'm almost wondering if something went wrong in this batch, because it doesn't smell very good. Um, it just, it's not a good smelling beer. And it's not... Now see, I've been really impressed with the other Stonehammer products. So I'm actually kind of curious if something went wrong with their their Pilsner, because it doesn't smell that great. And by it doesn't smell that great, I'm not saying it smells bad or anything like that, it just, it's not what I expected. Um, all the other beers that they've made have been very, very aromatic. This one isn't really. There's... There's a good deal of hops, but it doesn't smell like that noble family of hops. It just smells like your your average hops. Uh, there's a little bit of fruit. It just doesn't have that hop first character that you'd expect with a Pilsner. But you know what? The smell doesn't all matter that much as long as it tastes good. So it looks good. It doesn't smell that great, but how does it taste? You know, it tastes more like a lager than anything else. It, I've liked the light, I liked the dark, I liked the uh, maple red. This leaves something to be desired. You get a slight maltiness at the beginning. It's crisp. It is easy drinking still. Once you swallow the beer, the hop profile is there. You do get a good deal of hops in the back of your throat, the back of your tongue. It's slightly bitter. The front of your tongue is kind of left numb after you drink it. Just kind of, it's, it's like you're holding water on the front of your tongue. And the back of your tongue is completely engulfed by that, that hop profile. It's a little bit of malt that creeps back in on that hop profile. As a beer on its own, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. It's actually quite drinkable. The only thing that's taking points away from it is that weird watery sensation that's left on your tongue after you drink it. Um, as a Pilsner, I'd say probably a 5 out of 10. I mean, there's a lot worse out there, there's a lot better out there. So, as a Pilsner, 
middle ground 5 out of 10. That's an overall of 6 out of 10. So again, if you're not a beer snob, and you can get over the fact that it says Pilsner on the bottle, it's a great beer to drink. Um, this is Stonehammer Pilsner from the F&M Brewery in Guelph, Ontario. So if you're ever around, you can pick up a bottle or two to try. I mean, they sell them at the breweries in singles. You can do mix and matches. That's how I got everything I picked up from them. So, this has been the Albino Rhino here on the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Thank you for watching, everybody. Good beer drinking to all of you. Have yourselves a very good day, and bye bye